Hello everyone. So in the little free time I get since my university semester started, I've enjoyed watching video game challenge videos. Some of my favorite channels were Madrybread, Mitten Squad, and Dug Dug. I also recently watched an incredible series of videos where a guy on the GeoWizard YouTube channel traveled to Norway and walked in a straight line across the country and actually did it, actually pulled it off. I thought that was awesome. And now with me finally getting some free time, I decided to combine these awesome things I saw. I thought it would be interesting to try to cross the GTA map in as straight a line as possible, only walking, no shooting, and no running, and no driving. So setting a few ground rules for this challenge, I will set a waypoint and try to walk towards it at all times. I'm giving myself a little leeway. When there's a barrier or obstacle that cannot be walked through, under, or over, I will take as short a route as I can around it, and then try and course correct back to approximately where I would have been had I gone through it. The challenge relies more on just continuing to walk forward at my waypoint rather than staying in an absolute straight line. The only time I can run is for course correction, going backwards to retrace my steps, or when I'm being actively attacked. Also, GeoWizard's supplies were obviously finite, so aside from the armor I currently have on and the snacks in my inventory, I cannot replenish those things once they are gone. Finally, once I enter the northern suburbs of Los Santos, the run enters the point of no return. Because if you think about it, if you do a straight line challenge in real life and get shot or fall to your death, you aren't responding and trying again. The only reason this applies after I leave the city is for the sake of the video, because technically I could walk three steps to start the challenge and get bombed out of my shoes. So, if I die within the city limits, I can restart, but only after going all the way back to the beginning. So it's still annoying either way. With the rules established, let's go. So off I went, through the port of Los Santos on the very south of the map. It's littered with annoying fences, but the player density on this part of the map is always low, so this is probably the most low-risk part of the run. My path took me through the LS River and just past Grove Street, so thankfully I didn't have to deal with hostile ballas. I then passed the Davis Mega Mall, which is based on the real-life Slauson Super Mall, or Slauson, something like that. Of course the resemblance is uncanny, but in real life the reviews for this mall are surprisingly good despite being situated near what seems to be a relatively rougher part of town. I'm not actually from LA, so I don't know anything about the surrounding area. So if this neighborhood is actually awesome and I'm talking out of my ass, please let me know. Then my route took me past a Dollar Pills, whose logo reminds us of real life Dollar Trees and Dollaramas, which are my primary suppliers for my shitty live action videos. But it is primarily based on a drugstore called Rite Aid, founded in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Man, that city's a cultural behemoth. Unfortunately, I wouldn't get the chance to take in more of Los Santos on my first run, as a curious player put me in his crosshairs. Oh, please don't shoot. Don't- No! 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 Please! 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 No! 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 Bob and weave! Bob and weave! Serpentine! Serpentine! Oh no! Help! Help! This lunatic's trying to kill me! Ugh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I'm, I'm trying to st stay relatively within the line. Um, I'm not trying to deviate too far, so I'm trying to point as much as I can towards this, this wave. Oh, my God. Can I climb this? Jesus. Right outside the car wash, he finally took my life. What do you want? What do you want? I can eat snacks. No! 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 <laughs> he executed me, bro! Oh my... Why, Refined Roof? Why? Was I a threat? I was just a man in a snapback walking across the map. Oh. <laughs> oh I have to go back. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, okay, well, let's get a car. Let's... I had not yet left the city proper, so I had another chance at redemption. My second run was on a slightly different angle. I encountered another player's nightclub on the way, and I figured because of how stressful my undertaking was about to be, I might as well enjoy myself before returning to the course. 
After being graciously offered some alcoholic beverages, and then consuming some of the ten whole bottles I had in my sweater, I continued on. Through the annoying ass docks we went, and this time my path managed to take me right through the end of the Grove Street cul-de-sac, where the ballas took exception to my presence. Oh, oh relax. No, no. Gentlemen! 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 Gentlemen, please! Gentlemen, please! I mean you no harm. I'm not I'm not related to the to the to Grove Street or the Vagos or anything. Please. Gentlemen! No I know you gangbag, please leave me alone. Oh I don't I don't mean to intrude on your territory. Stop. <laughs> How do you think it must be to be that guy in the house? Terrifying. <laughs> There's just a man blankly staring forward going through this proper your property. And then and then the local the local fucking local people just start shooting at him. These guys really want me dead! Oh! Oh no! No! <laughs> I got my answer. Oh my god. <laughs> Leave me the fuck alone! They're still, they're still giving chase. I didn't expect NPCs to be my biggest nightmare on this on this run. Oh my god. Are they still after me? Okay, they're clustered up. I think they might... Their chase might be ending. Okay, I can replenish my snacks, but not my armor. Okay. And, uh... Yeah. I have to find a, a way around this here. I mean, I technically was trespassing, but a bit of an overreaction, yeah? I then passed a place that reminded me of that one pizza place that Ryder robbed in San Andreas, even though it's not actually a pizza place in this game. Then I accidentally replenished my armor, so take away some street cred from this run. Unfortunate. I went past the strip club, then through a homeless camp, where I had to politely remind a woman that she was blocking my path. Ma'am, you're in the way. You're oh my God. I got through downtown unscathed, but as I approached the northern part of the city, there was a ruckus. Oh. Oh, oh. Something's happening. Jesus. Jesus. I better get, out the, get the fuck out of here. But I can't run until I'm threatened. Personally. Don't run me over, ma'am. Thank you. Sirens, people running, there's gunshots. This is, I don't like this. Nothing came of it, thankfully, and I continued north into the suburbs, where I had officially entered the point of no return. On my way there, I had to cut through a pool, which reminded me of the actual Norway video I mentioned earlier, where the guy actually took a dip in a spring or something like that while on his route, so I followed his example. After that break, I continued through more climbing and a few obstacles I had to round, but more trouble was on the horizon. Yo, why is the product so close to me? No. Well, of course the product has to go across me. What do I do? No, if I get in a car, he can aim for me. I'm just gonna hope he leaves me alone. Please do not kill me here. Oh my god. After somehow keeping my life, I started to enter Hickville. Which online is not much of an issue because the player density is also low up here. You know, most of the players are uh, squashed up in the actual Los Santos city proper. For the most part. And there are no wild animals online. So it was mostly an endurance test. Eventually I passed through the old beef gristle mill where I began to head straight for the lake. After crossing that lake without incident, I realized that the mountains were staring me right in the face. The most threatening of which was Chiliad, of course. Supposedly based on the real San Jacinto Peak, home to one of the most drastic gains in elevation over the smallest distance in the United States. At least according to Wikipedia. The second biggest challenge was now upon me. I also saw that on the other side of the mountains, in Polito Bay, there was a player lingering. So even if I was to somehow descend the mountains unscathed, I had to pray he wouldn't use me for target practice once I got down. I wasn't going to be a wuss and message him to spare me, so I just had to endure it. So up the mountain I went, where I tried to not take a nasty tumble, which is the only time in the run where I can jump. 
when it will help me go through an obstacle instead of having to go around. As I climbed higher, I realized that a second player had graced Polito Bay with his presence, therefore increasing my chance of being meaninglessly gunned down. Still, I persisted, continuing to point at my waypoint, then the way down was upon me. This was the actual demonic part of the mountain I was worried about. Waiting to greet me on my way down were two players in Polito Bay, which is a town most resembling the real Morro Bay in California, a town of about 10,000. In popular culture, it's mostly known as Dory's Home and Finding Dory, being mentioned in a Beach Boys song one time, and being the setting for a tabletop game called Cyberpunk 2020. So it looks like I was about to enter the high halls of history by arriving. While I was busy daydreaming about superstardom in Polito Bay, I forgot that I was descending a mountain, and I was soon given a reality check by Mother Nature herself. Honestly, I don't know what I want less. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck! No! Stop, 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 stop! No! <laughs> I died. Oh, come on. Oh, the fucking mountain. Look where I was. Oh my God, look how close I was to the fucking finish line. <laughs> Damn. My online run ended in failure. The mountain slaughtered me where I stood. There was no retrying considering how far I was and I didn't even want to anyway. All I could do was regroup, lick my wounds, and hope for better luck in the single player version. So, in the single player realm, I don't have to worry about other real players gunning me down, but I will have to keep in mind the wild animals that can hunt me down in the single player. I chose Franklin because his ability is driving based, meaning I don't even have the opportunity to resort to a special ability out of pure instinct or desperation. I started from a different angle than the last two runs at the very left edge of that man-made peninsula at the end of the map. I bought some armor beforehand, but forgot to replenish my health bar fully. When I reached a rooftop and had no good options to get down, I tried to delicately find a way to fall gracefully to the floor and minimize damage. Uh, oh, ah, uh. uh, that hurt. Fuck. Okay, so the grace part didn't go so well, but at least that enabled us to continue. I trekked through the docks, through the usual labyrinthine bullshit waste of time that constituted the start of this challenge, until I reached a roof again. This time, the Ballas actually had a reason to shoot me since I chose the one guy that the entire gang can't stand in the storyline, but thankfully I went by unnoticed. I took a little detour at the fake 7-Eleven and replenished my pre-drained health, so I feel like that's fair. Back on my route, I passed by the gun range, got spooked by the gunshots at the gun range, then remembered I was at a gun range, so then got unspooked. Then I noticed an interesting sign that caught my eye. This poster for Drag On 6 is apparently for an in-series video game, or maybe film. The only place I could find lore information for this fake series was the German GTA wiki, which claimed that it's a video game, the cover being based on Guild Wars 2. Although for me, it gave me serious Yakuza vibes, with the design and the fact that the Yakuza games are called Like a Dragon in Japanese. Aside from that, the rest of my walk was relatively uneventful, until I got to the highway, which was pretty damn intense. Later, because I had been walking so long, I started calling the other characters in the game, except for the ones I knew I could start a hangout with because I didn't want to mess with the run. Safe to say Franklin's social circle is quite thin, partly because a lot of them are dead, or hate his guts. Eventually, I reached the northern suburbs, which meant that the run could no longer be restarted. I commemorated my achievement with a selfie, I then reached Franklin's own house where I took a dip in the pouring rain. What a celebration. I then considered bringing Chop along, but changed my mind because Chop may end up fighting off any wild animals or hostile NPCs I encounter, and that isn't really in the spirit of this. I gotta train your ass to use the John Chop. That's a big ass pile of shit. Unfortunately, I did not have time to clean Chop's shit either. 
I had history to make, damn it. While seeing the fast forward of this, you may see my screen go blue. That was me looking at a reply to a message I sent five hours earlier to a teammate on one of GTA Online's missions, who had went AFK at the crucial final stretch of the mission. He finally got back to me to ask who I was five hours later. I just left the chat and never got back to him. Let him ruminate on the mystery of who I am for the rest of eternity. Then I took a tumble later on, and the run almost ended in the most gruesome of fashions. After surviving that and getting closer to Hickville, I started to hear... growling. Nothing came of it, so I decided to take pictures of some deer and then continue. Then I heard growling again. Now I was properly scared. I was trying to zoom with my camera to see if I could find anything. I didn't find anything, so I continued forward. Still, I felt like it was a waste not to get any pictures from this experience, so I took a picture of a random family on their own property without their permission, and then continued. Then I encountered a seemingly violently flowing river that I was worried about crossing, but it wasn't deep enough to carry me away. You know what did carry me away though? This relatively unsuspecting drop. It carried me to the fucking afterlife. So because I underestimated that cliff, two and a half or so hours of work completely washed away. And I was too far for another run. So I was outdone by a guy who actually did this shit in real life, travel to a real country, who couldn't just spawn at the hospital if he took a nasty drop. So I apologize for wasting your time. Go watch a real man, like GeoWizard, not some dumbass who can't navigate through a seven-year-old game. So, those were my attempts to walk through the entire GTA map from the most southerly piece of land to the most northerly. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know. And if this video gets decent views, should I do this challenge in another game, say Red Dead, Fallout? Either way, thanks so much for those who keep up with this channel for their incredible patience. I haven't uploaded since the university semester started like three months ago, but I have some free time for a few weeks with the semester over. So I hope I can get a few videos out in that time. Thanks so much for watching everyone and have a great day.